In the previous video, we created a Node.js application in A2 hosting using cPanel. Most of the time, when someone's using Node.js, they're also using Express with it. So let's update our application to serve our static file using Express instead. Now, on our list of Node applications, we're going to click on A2 Node.js and try to npm install using cPanel's interface. But it seems like uh, we can't install. To fix this, let's go to our file manager and go into our project folder, and let's add a package.json file. I am going to right click on the package.json file and I'm going to click edit and I'm going to copy and paste this config. This config tells us what we need to install which is Express.js and EJS. EJS is a templating library used to pass information into our web page using Express. Now we're back on our web application's Node.js cPanel interface. So what we're going to want to do is stop our application and hit npm install. You should see a green notification on the top right corner telling us that npm install has completed. Now let's create our EJS file containing our HTML. Note that even though it's an EJS extension, we are still able to write HTML. So let's type hello victory flame express, save, and exit. Now let's replace what we have in our app.js with our express code, which for the sake of everyone's time, I'm just going to copy and paste. So we have our imports, we set the path of our views, and our view engine. And now I'm setting the static path of our express application. The express route with the variable title passed in is express with a capital E at the beginning and we want to call app.listen without a port number. Now we're back on the cPanel interface and we can start up the application. And now we can see our Hello Victory Flame Express text on the page. Now let's adjust our EJS file to take in the variable passed in from Express. Now we're back on our cPanel and let's start back up. And you can see it says Hello Victory Frame Express with a capital E instead of a lowercase e. Before we do anything else, let's make our EJS file look more like what we would normally see in an HTML file with a doc type, HTML tag, a head tag, and a body tag. 
Now let's add a link to our future CSS file. Let's create a styles.css file. And let's just set the background of our body to red and save. Now we're back to our C panel and let's hit restart. Open their application URL in the browser and you will see that our background is red. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.